Concrete, as you know, is a mixture of cement, stone, water, and sand. And all this mixture, concrete, makes a very strong and versatile construction material. But now you might be thinking that concrete is boring and dull, and not as cool as dogs and the frogs. <laughs> then think again. You'll be surprised to know that concrete is the second most used material by humankind, second just to water. And in Australia, 25 million cubic meters of concrete was poured last year. Now that is enough to fill 10,000 Olympic-sized pools. Now that's what makes concrete very important. But there are big environmental challenges concerning concrete, and my team has been working towards addressing these challenges to produce environment-friendly, greener concrete. The cement in concrete is the biggest killer. The production of cement is very energy intensive. One ton of cement production produces one ton of carbon dioxide. Hence, we are trying to find an alternative to cement for concrete industries. And interestingly, in Knighton District, very close to Keynes, there is a huge deposit of this beautiful volcanic rock called a speedstone. And while processing this rock for horticulture and chemical industries, we get a very fine byproduct as a mining waste. And the good news is that our research has shown that this mining waste can be used to replace up to 30% of cement in concrete. And the great news is that it further enhances the strength and durability of concrete. And please remember, every ton of cement saved is one ton less carbon dioxide produced. Now, sand, unlike cement, is available in the nature. But again, the excessive use of sand will deplete our natural resources as well. Hence, we are trying to replace sand by another byproduct, the stone dust from stone quarries that we get while crushing these stones. Now, with the right use of the right kind of chemical admixtures, we have proved that we can replace 100% of natural sand using this byproduct without compromising on the strength. Now, finally, the most interesting one, steel. The production of steel is also very energy intensive. And for the first time in Australia, we have produced a recycled plastic fiber that is strong enough to replace entire steel from concrete footpaths. In fact, these recycled plastic fibers were produced from, guess what? The waste from nappy industries. And these recycled plastic fibers not only reduce the plastic waste going into the landfill, but it also prevents the drying crack in the concrete, which is a big problem in the dry tropical environment like Townsville. So all in all, we are producing a greener concrete, which is good for the tropical environment and supports the local economy as well. And I firmly believe that every resource should be able to be translated into the real world. And on this line, this recycled plastic fiber is going to be used in the upcoming science space building at JSU. Now, how cool is that? Thank you.